Welcome to a week in the life of my hair, my curls. It might be a bit echoey in here because I'm in the bathroom, but I literally just washed my hair. I didn't film it, but you've kind of seen me wash my hair a few times recently on my most recent videos. I really needed to cleanse my hair. I felt like it really had a lot of build up on it this time because I've used so many different products lately, like testing new ones out and things. Went in with the K18 Detox Shampoo, which is very good at getting rid of stuff. Like you don't want to use this all the time because I think it would strip your hair and your colour um, and I did just recently get my hair touched up so I'm a bit mindful of that but I went in with this and I was confident they got rid of everything and then I went straight in with a restorative restorative whatever the word is conditioner for the scalp and ends I always talk about this but it's the post wash calming conditioner from Curl Smith I've literally gone through 10 maybe of these like pretty much the only conditioner I use just because it can be used on the scalp and it's such a nice cool sensation so when you're using a really clarifying shampoo it feels quite nice to like replenish it to make sure the scalp doesn't get too dry I only leave it on for about three minutes or so I just massage it in then I fully detangle with this in the shower and it's obviously really good for the ends as well then I wash it out so that's where we've got to so far now the fun bit we need to choose some products and I think I know what I'm gonna try but because I've never tried the product before I'm a bit like hesitant because I really want this wash day to go really well and I want my hair to look nice obviously but like I feel like it's my job to try products and naturally I'm gonna have some failed wash days okay let's see so here are all my products these are like the ones I use most frequently and then in that drawer are ones that I still use a lot but like they're more like maybe seasonal ones. Frequently Only Curls Aussie, um, Curlsmith Bounce Curl Avida, Imbue. These are the ones I'm going to the most and there's my steamer. I got this recently. I bought it from TK Maxx and I think I'm going to try it for you guys because it's an affordable brand. And I've tried Naughty before but never this product and I do really like their products. Um, so this was $5.99 from TK Maxx and it's vegan cruelty free and I believe like because it's a gel cream I can probably use this as like a one and done product I think we're gonna try this today this is like reminding me of the imbue one and I love that cream gel I've not used it in a while actually and I don't know why I do really like it so this is the imbue one and I really really get like amazing definition when I use this I have I think I've used this on its own but I've always kind of paired it with their leave-in conditioner first. I'm wondering like how similar these are gonna be. What I'm gonna do, cause I need to eat something right now. I'm just gonna leave my hair. It's probably gonna dry really weird and frizzy. And then I will wet it down and then we'll try this together. I really need to get my hair done, but I just got a package. So I thought we could open it together. Coco and Eve clarifying detox shampoo and super hydrating cream conditioner. These I've not seen before. I don't know if these are brand new. I always love Coco and Eve PR so much. Oh, it's like a hair wrap. How nice is that? The little leaves on it, it's so soft. Oh my God, I love that. Thank you, Coco and Eve. I normally work on weekends, so I'm normally always filming like campaigns or, you know, like the normal stuff I post day to day. But today I didn't have to do anything for like once in a very long time. So I've just kind of taken the day to chill and setting my phone up by the window to film my first impressions of this. Okay, my first impressions of this Howdy Curls Spring Back Cream Gel, Gel Cream. Firstly, it gives me incredible definition. My hair's not even fully dry yet. And you know when you just know the curls are just really springy and it's not even dry yet. Don't know if I'd say negative, but just something to bear in mind if you do get this is my personal experience is it's really difficult to brush through like to brush style unless you have loads of water and unless your hair is soaking wet. As I was getting to that top section, I had to keep re-wetting it down with water. There's a few times I pulled the brush through and I felt like I was gonna snag if I went any further. It was like, whoa, okay. 
this isn't giving me enough slip like as the gel kind of starts to set it's then difficult to brush and obviously this is the only product in my hair this is all I was using so I had to brush it through if I wanted to brush style but it was fine to brush through if I had loads of water fill this bottle up and look how much I kind of had to spray. It's not necessarily a negative because gels are supposed to do that. That's how they give the grit and the hold. But it's just to bear in mind, you need water. You need to have slip when you're brushing this through. If not. So that was just my personal experience. Let me know if you've tried that product, if you experienced that as well. But yeah, I'm gonna dry it now and finish off my reel. And then I'll hopefully show you the full result on here. Yeah. I really like that product. Look how defined my hair is. I know, like, I typically do get good definition with most products unless I weigh my hair down, but I really do see a difference with this. Like, it's very springy, like, they're strong springs. But I've noticed, actually, with all products I use, I'm starting to get a few springy pieces just here. But it's just, like, these main two bits. So it's not a big deal, but I think it might be, I've spoken about this before, these bits down here. Like I have a sideburn piece there and then two down here and they're just not as curly as the rest of my hair. I don't know why. It's not really a big deal, I don't really mind. Maybe these pieces get stuck in my coat zip or they're neglected more. Next time I'll try not brushing it through just because I wanna see if I've got the definition because I brushed the gel through or whether I've got the definition because of the gel. I'm undecided whether I'm gonna keep this outfit on yet, but we're going out in a bit. Um, I've got, I basically got tights on, then I've got shorts underneath these because these are a bit short. And then I've got a jumper on. Um, I think I might wear boots and a really thick coat and a scarf. And I think it'll be all right. Yes. I've gone for vegan nachos and the vegan burger. Just got back from that comedy show. It's actually pretty funny. <laughs> I think I'm gonna show you now how I protect my hair at night. I take a massive scrunchie like this, a silk one. This is from Curl Friend Collective. And I put half of it in the scrunchie. These little clips. And I basically clip these in. But I also clip the front in and I can you even see me? I'm gonna have to kneel. I've got a mini tripod right now, so I can't make it go higher. But I take this hair and I kind of do that and I'm pinching it in like that. So I'm connecting this hair with these bits. So I'm going like that. And then I can like join some of that in, right? That'll do. Bit of lip balm, even though I'm about to take my makeup off. That's how I protect my hair. And now I will sleep on a silk or satin pillowcase. I think satin is the one I've got on right now. And yeah, and then I'll show you in the morning how I take this out and how my hair is preserved. Night. I'm having a weird morning, guys. Do you know what? I've just found the greatest tripod and it's putting it on the top of my Stanley cup. Ah, oh, this is great. I've decided I'm gonna take my hair out now because I'm in natural light and I can't be bothered to move. Let's see what it looks like. This like works for me every single time, but sometimes it takes a while for the curls to settle. You kind of need to like breathe. I know they don't breathe, but that's the only way I can explain it. Frank is eyeing up my claw clips right now. Okay, shake. Wow. <laughs> okay, this is what we're dealing with right now. I mean, that's a bit funny. But like that, in a moment, 
it will like go back down so i just need it to settle i think i'm just gonna leave it just exactly like this what i'm gonna do is get in the shower now but i'm gonna put my shower cap on or bonnet and then after my shower's done with the steam in the bathroom i'm gonna take the shower cap off and let my hair get refreshed by the steam because for me steam is a really effective refresh method for me to just get that balance back in my hair so i think that's what i'm gonna do let's put the light on i swear this whoa that's good okay that's good you can see me now here is my hair a bit closer up it's super defined i'm really a fan of that product i'm definitely gonna use it again i was gonna say maybe i'll try it with other products but i wouldn't want any more product in my hair like it feels great since filming this vlog i actually tried the product with this miracle shield heat protectant and it still came out great so i just wanted to slot this in here from future sophie because what i'm saying is incorrect as in the product does actually work great with other products but also with this routine i did a lower effort styling routine where i only brush styled that front section and the rest i raked and scrunched my hair and the results came out beautifully so just wanted to let you guys know this if you're thinking of buying that product it can be used in so many different ways and look i had such good definition even though i didn't brush style any of that back section at all doesn't feel like too much i can actually still feel like a bit of a crunch so i wonder if that will just slowly come out on its own there is a crunch there but it looks soft like when there's a little bit of a cast left over hair just lasts longer for me anyway so it's never a bad thing i am just gonna check the weather quickly because whoa it's so windy right now but apparently there is a storm not need to wear this coat i'm so hot right now oh my god i put my hat on but no way i don't need it freezing i need to put a jumper on this hack honestly works so well every time if you struggle with frizzing your hair up um but yeah anyway i felt really unwell i don't really know why i just did not feel good it started with me tasting the coffee and i was like oh my god this does not taste good at all it was so sweet and it made me feel sick i forgot i haven't had starbucks coffee in ages but i kind of remember now i don't like it that much so that feels like a bit of a failed attempt to go and get some work done. I'm back home now. I already feel better. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm in my comfy clothes now. I literally might sit in bed and finish editing. The hair actually is holding up really well. Um, it's so defined. Having such a wholesome time right now with Franklin. This is probably really bad quality because I'm on my phone and I don't know where to look. I'm getting confused. Anyway, my video is nearly done and I'm so glad I came home from Starbucks. My boyfriend's coming back now and he's going to make us a veggie chili for dinner and I'm really excited about that. We're going to make it early and eat quite early because I want to go to bed really early because tomorrow I need to be up early for the gym and I'm going to show you in the morning, that's why I want to get up a bit earlier, but how I put my hair up for the gym so it lasts because we're still going to preserve this wash for as long as possible and even through exercising so that's part of what i want to show you kind of in this like vlog style video he's being so cute look at his little face he's so cute so yeah just checking in and i'm aware this isn't a very interesting video but maybe you will find some tips from it and yeah i guess the key here is just to show a realistic kind of week in my life and typically i'm not up to much exciting so
edited my reel and I put it out. Seems to be doing okay, you know? People are intrigued by it. Someone said, wow, heading to TK Maxx as soon as it's open, so must have liked the results. But yeah, I mean, compared to quite a lot of wash days I've had recently, this is holding up incredibly well for just one product in my hair. gym I'm back from my walk I have showered my hair is still looking great there's a little bit of frizz here and I think that's from walking along the beach but I did put on a satin lined beanie which helped now I need some energy because oh that is so <gasps> what is wrong with me luckily it went on the desk not on the floor as I was saying I now need a little bit of energy because I'm about to film a sit down YouTube video and this video is going to be the one that I wanted to film yesterday but didn't and it's going to be uploaded in two days from now so this will already be up on my channel by the time you're watching this. I'm actually wondering whether I should just put this cute little headband on. This is from Hedgy and it's Lana Summer's brand. She gifted it to me and I absolutely love this headband. She's just gonna put it on. I like having my hair a little bit like off my face when I'm filming as well. Now what I'm doing is I already have the format for my video on my phone, but I'm just like going through, making sure I kind of know like what I'm saying. I'll now make sure I've got like any products nearby that I'm gonna be referring to. wasting time. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing five curly hair hacks that have saved me so much time. I'm halfway through my YouTube video. There is so much noise outside and I'm really worried I'm not going to be able to edit the noise out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more curly content from me. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Woo! It literally says battery exhausted as we finish on the dock. It's about 5 p.m. now and I'm hitting a wall. <laughs> I'm 
so, so tired right now. I had a really intense gym session this morning, like all in, and then I walked basically 10,000 steps straight after that. So I feel good about that. Yeah, now my hair is just in this scrunchie from Curl Friend Collective. I just love putting these in when I don't want to ruin my hair or anything, but I just want it off my face a bit. And my hair's still holding up from that cream gel. So I'd like to use a product like quite a few times in different ways before I'm like, yeah, this is brilliant. But I am really impressed so far. And you kind of do know straight away, but you got to test it out. I'm wondering what I should do now. I, me and my boyfriend are gonna eat around seven. So it's five o'clock, so I've got two hours. I think I'm gonna just get the YouTube video done for Wednesday, it's now Monday. Tomorrow I've got loads of work to do, which is like nothing to do with YouTube. So I kind of want to get the YouTube stuff done now in the moment while I've still got energy kind of. And yeah, then have a nice evening. So yeah, I will check in in a bit. All right, yeah, that'll do. My video is nearly done. It's nine o'clock, got Pilates first thing. So I'll see you in the morning. Back from Pilates, I really struggled in that class. I was really aching from the gym yesterday, but I'm making it my mission to work out four times a week and I'm sticking to it. It's still really early, so I've got a whole day of work ahead of me. I've got a lot to achieve today. I'm feeling slightly overwhelmed. I've decided I'm gonna wash my hair because my scalp's getting pretty itchy right now. Um, my hair actually looks all right, I think. Like, this is day four now. So I'll probably show you how I style my hair after I get out of the shower. I can't film in the shower today because my bikinis are in the wash. done hair is drying i've half diffused it put it in these clips and i've got my silk scarf on and now i need to edit like sonic Guys, 
look at my hair. Look how defined. This routine was pretty quick as well. Um, I'm basically done with the YouTube video for tomorrow's upload, which tomorrow is Wednesday. I just need to do the thumbnail, which I'll do later. Just finished filming a campaign for a brand which involves scrunching my hair out, which I've done. I'm not gonna like talk about that right now, just in case this ends up being uploaded before the campaign. But yeah, I'm like so happy with this final product that I use on my hair. Kind of hitting a wall right now. I've still got a lot to achieve. I've got another brand campaign to film, which is basically just a talking head video, which doesn't require me to do anything to my hair and then edit a video for tonight for Instagram. Then I need to get back to quite a lot of emails. I'm gonna have dinner. I've still got time to go and get a coffee. I'm a bit nervous to go outside to be honest because it is absolutely disgusting. I can't ruin this. I'm gonna go and get a coffee like this. This scarf is tucked in around my lengths and the hat on top. So we'll see. I'm actually hot now. Well, looks fine to me. Right, got my coffee. Need to get on now. now Wednesday. It was a late night last night. I was trying to get loads of different work finished. But yeah, I was so impressed with that routine. It's so bouncy, held up so well. You might go to a cafe and try and get loads of stuff done. I'm gonna sit in a coffee shop and just power through. Um, but I'll bring you there with me.